And it might not be the coolest place to hang out, but the Okmulgee Heritage Trail has a new addition that will show you various parts of Macon. Kayla Solomon tells us all about the Walnut Creek Connector Trail. It's now called the Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park, but Mike Phillips has walked through these grounds for 30 years. Continue to use these because, you know, they're just uh, some of the most beautiful scenery in the world to me here. So. With the new trail opening to the public, he says he's looking to see more people walking with him in the afternoons. I, th I think it's great. It's uh, beautiful uh, scenery along the river, you know, and it's just, uh, I think it's a wonder wonderful addition to Macon and uh, should hopefully bring, bring a lot of people back. The new Walnut Creek Connector Trail connects the current Okmulgee Heritage Trail along the river to the river trail in the park. But there's a slight detour you'll have to take for the next few months. With all the construction going on on the Otis Redding Memorial Bridge, there's no way to get in over there. But if you want to walk just a few blocks away on Clinton Street, there's an entry point right here through these gates. And with some funding from the National Park Service, the trail is accessible for everyone. Been able to use those private funds to match a grant from the National Park Service. So that paves, paved this entire Walnut Creek Connector Trail um, and made it ADA compliant. So Emily Hopkins with Newtown Macon says the first official sneak peek of the trail won't be on foot thanks to Bike Walk Macon. It's great for um, bike riders of all levels. Um, so that'll be a way to see the trail, get some information about how it's been completed and understand the history and the importance of this incredible recreational asset. For avid walkers like Mike Phillips, this is just another Macon trail to add to the list. In Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. The official ribbon cutting is open to the public on Thursday at 1030 in the morning. It'll be at the Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park entry point. Again, that's tomorrow morning.